Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are seeing people starting to prepare for this next week incoming Black Friday promotion by selling off cards from their teams. Yes, we have a lot of prices dropping right now as we head into Saturday on this game as people are selling their weekend league teams in preparation for the market crash that is going to be coming this next week for Black Friday, especially for cards that will be in packs. So, we have arrived. This is the start of the Black Friday market crash, in my opinion. But I want to talk about how this crash is also partially EA's doing because of the content that they dropped yesterday. SBC fodder is flying right now at the moment with the David Neres SBC and the Hero Upgrade SBC dropped yesterday on this game. I want to talk about how that's impacting the fodder market. And that's how also how that's taken a lot of coins off the game. And I want to show you some of these prices that have dropped off a lot on this market. So I also want to take a look at all these Air Divisi players that were released in objectives and talk about how Liga Portugal players and EFL Championship players are going to be coming out later in this next week. It's technically a no promo week, but EA is even naming a no promo week. These new weeks without promos, as they've said, are going to be called a foot series. And there's basically going to be these weeks in between promos that we have or campaigns that will be weeks of like objective players. So we're going to have Eredivisie, Liga Portugal and EFL Championship coming here very soon. We'll talk about that a little bit in this video today as well. But let's get on the market and take a look at some prices because as I'm recording this heading into Saturday on FIFA 22, we have some prices that are down. Mbappe was 1.4 uh, 1.42 yesterday, 1.42 million coins on this game out of packs gold card. This guy is down right now to 1.38. This is purely, in my opinion, purely people selling these cards off. They're finishing their weekend league. They know Black Friday is coming and they have been told to sell this weekend. And we talked about it in some of the videos earlier this week that I expected this weekend to be a big time where a lot of people would start to sell off some of these cards as we didn't really have that big of a market drop last week. And if you take a look at this Mbappe graph, it really just paints the picture that that is exactly what is going on right now. So take a look at Mbappe yesterday on Friday. He was 1.43, went down into the content drop, bounced back because content yesterday didn't affect the meta market that much. Back up to 1.41 and is now down to 1.38. He was even 1.1 mil on the Xbox and he's down to 1.039. This is purely just people selling cards from their team. If you take a look at the cards that are on the market as well, I mean, obviously Mbappe is not in packs right now, but these are just items that people are listing up, right? You see position changes, chemistry styles on these cards. These are not cards that obviously people are packing. Uh, and even if you take a look at other cards that are in packs, like Hyunmin's son. Hyunmin's son was 80,000 coins yesterday. Right now he is under 70,000 coins on this game, 69K at the moment. Again, you see a lot of these with Hunter position change, uh, left forward, left mid. So people are selling cards from their teams and it's not just golds, right? I wanna take a look across the whole market right now, take a look at these prices and do these drop lower? In my opinion, I think they do. I really think they do because people are gonna continue to finish their weekend leagues as we go into the day today. Now, I also wanna talk about the possibility of these drops in the market catching fire, right? Just especially with, you know, there's some rumors out there that the base icon SBC might be coming again as early as today, right? We've been talking about expecting that SBC soon. Some people are saying it might even come today on Saturday. And if that is the case, take a look at Cristiano, right? 770, right now he's down to 710K. Remember how we had the hour of death, as some people called it, the last time the base icon SBC was released. I think it was basically about two weeks ago where a Sunday night into a Monday morning, we had so much panic selling from people that we had like that one crazy low hour where like everybody was told to panic sell. It was like 9 or 10 a.m. UK on a Monday morning and stuff just absolutely got obliterated, obliterated in price. Right now on this market, we're seeing some price drops. We There's potential that we could have one of those crazy low hours, maybe even this morning on Saturday morning on this game. What I really think you're gonna to start to see is more people are gonna say, hey, this market's starting to go down. If you haven't sold already, you should sell because it is gonna go lower. And if you see a lot of that panic selling continue, then I think you could see a really low point this morning. Now, there could be some bounce backs from that. There could be opportunities to trade within that. But as you saw there, even on the Salah graph, you take a look across the whole game right now, 
a lot of these cards are down. Joao Felix, 690,000 coins. I literally sold this card yesterday for 760K, right? Jota was 470,000 coins. He's, he's you know, flirting with under 400,000 coins on this market right now. So a lot of these cards have dropped down in price. You take a look at the other out of packs cards on this game. Suarez is 600K flat. He was like 660 a couple days ago. Um, let's see, Davies was over 200. He's now 180. I saw Klosterman selling it in the 190 range earlier. Marquinhos in form. Okay, he's still back up a little bit right now. Vinny Jr. is down like about 20,000 coins per card. Um, a lot of your out-of-packs cards have started to take this slide down in price as well. Diaby's 50,000 coins. It's it's mostly impacting your just your cards that people use a lot in this game, your most meta cards. Neymar, 1.33 million coins. Kessie's down to 165. You take a look at, you know, even Oob McConnell in form. Some of these cards started to drop off in price yesterday when the content was released. Now, of course, I don't want to downplay the fact that we had a hero SBC yesterday, which started some of these prices dropping because a lot of coins are being taken off the market right now with all of these SBCs that are out. Of course, we have got the Nkunku, the Traxler, the Insigne, the Paqueta. And then yesterday, eSports went out and dropped a David Neres SBC, a Brazilian five-star skill right winger. I know, I think this SBC is a bit overpriced, but if you can get this guy in your team with Brazilian links, I'm considering doing him for the squad with the R9 links that I have, just because this card looks really cool, really meta, and especially with the objective cards that you, had, he, that you have, he could be a really fun card to link in teams. I don't think that SBC impacted the market as much as this one did. The Foot Hero Upgrade, albeit not a very worth it SBC. I'll show you my pack pull here in a second, but not a very worth it SBC. Still, people love these gamble packs. They went out and they did this, and you can tell. You can absolutely tell that people were going out and doing this SBC by taking a look at fodder prices on this market right now. This is draining a ton of coins off this game because there's a lot of SBCs. EA is pushing SBCs right now with, again, the Nkunku, the Foot Hero, the, the, um, the Nerez, everything that is out at the moment. 86 is the index from 83 points all the way up to 97 points. And if we take a look at some of the higher tier informs and higher tier golds on this game, 88s are 30,000 coins, 89s are 40K, and then 90 rated cards are 50,000 coins. I mean, a lot of this kind of fodder is up. Even 84s are up like 1,000 coins a card. 83s are still basically discard. Who's surprised? Um, but 84s and above have risen up in price significantly. 86s were like 11K earlier this week, and now they are 16,000 coins a piece on this game as people are going out and they're doing SBCs. Another way that we always check the barometer of how fodder is doing on this market. Where is the player of the month Salah card? Um, can I find player of the month Salah? I might just have to search him. I couldn't find him on a quick search there. Take a look at Salah's price. This dude was 780,000 coins to do on Wednesday. And right now he has 927K to do off the market. His price has absolutely exploded with fodder really going up. So that's taken a ton of coins off this game. And it really just feels like there's not a lot of people buying cards, right? I'm actually kind of doing a little bit of risky flipping right now at the moment. I snagged a Lom middle card who usually sells it for like 1.35 mil. I snagged one of these just on bid a little bit ago as the market is so dead right now at 1.23. I'm trying to sell that and make a quick flip out of it. But a lot of these cards have just continued to go down or they had a small rise after the content drop yesterday and have gone down. We were able to make a lot of coins yesterday um, on cards. I bought this at 1.3. I bought this at 9.20, 9.03. Bought this at 5.05. I bought this Sinaldo at 7.05 or 7.07 .07 on stream. There was a lot of really good flips to be made yesterday and a lot of good coins were made. Um, but as we're going into tonight, right, and rising into Saturday, today, this market is just really, really dead, and it really looks like it's sell-off. It really seems to me like this is the beginning of that weekend league sell-off that a lot of people were maybe not dreading, but, I mean, almost expecting as well. So a couple things, when you're watching this sell-off like this, a couple things that you want to watch out for. You want to watch out for your really rare and really meta cards. Like, take a look at the Sadio Mane, 638K for the Sadio Mane center attacking mid in form. Now, of course, this card was like 700K yesterday. I believe on Friday he started off in the morning. He was 712,000 coins. He dropped to about 680, and right now he's 630. That's crazy low, 
right? That is crazy low. There will be some cards like this that get too low tonight and they will bounce back just based off of rarity. But remember, right? Sometimes it's good to go back and remember which of these promo teams and promo cards are really rare. So if you're trying to trade in this market, if you're trying to trade in this market with quick flips, watch the road to the knockouts and the rule breakers. And, you know, team of the week seven was a very, uh, a very supplied team of the week. Same with team of the week four, right? Like team of the week four, everybody remembers, remembers this team of the week was absolutely destroyed with supply. So you could see a little bit extra panic selling on this team of the week because of that. And just watch out, um, you know, for the whole market as a whole, when you see prices on rare cards like icons, maybe some foot heroes, maybe some out of packs cards, or really rare high tier golds like Mbappe's out of packs, maybe even like Messi or Neymar. If we have that hour of death, you could see some bounce backs. But ultimately, I think a lot of the market, especially in terms of the rare golds, a lot of this market is going to continue to go lower because as we continue to talk about Black Friday stuff, I mean, Kempembe was 31,000 coins a couple of weeks ago, like earlier last week during the whole um, first set of panic that we had and supply that we had. He's come back to 40K. Now he's back down in that range. I still think that cards like this are going to go lower over this weekend with panic selling and then, of course, into the next week uh, around the Black Friday time frame. I think a lot of this stuff will go lower. I really do. So if you haven't sold cards yet, maybe you can still look to find some opportunities here to get out on a few of these cards that maybe are still up. Like I take a look at the Road to the Knockout Royce. He is still up, right? 406,000 coins. Fred is up. A lot of your Brazilian cards have risen up in price significantly uh, on this market because of those links to the Nerez. Uh, like Kaka, his base icon yesterday was low heading into the content drop at like 740,000 coins, and he is now up to 840. He's up like 100K in price. So seriously, I think there are gonna be opportunities to trade on the market, but as it looks right now, a lot of this stuff is just going down. A lot of the stuff is sliding downwards in price because people are scared, they're selling teams, and they're starting to run on tradable squads um, with players that they have, SBCs, objective cards. And with these new objective cards that have been released, these are some pretty decent cards that people can go out and do. And, uh, you know, maybe you're not going to use this for very long, but at, le at least for this next couple of days, you get your weekend league done, then you can rock an untradeable side for the next couple of days before you, of course, head into the Black Friday time frame and start to build a squad and stuff like that. But EA is releasing multiple of these Eredivisie, Liga Portugal and um, uh, EFL coming up later on this week. They're releasing a lot of these cards that you could make a nice cheap team with or, you know, the, the quality of team that you can get on this market right now for like just such a cheap price. You know, think about a guy like Gold Kunde. This guy is literally like 3,000 coins. Gold Kunde on this game, you're you literally are, are wasting nothing here. Like sell, go and sell your Kempembe uh, and instead get this Kunde card. So sell your 30,000 30, coin Kempembe and use this Kunde for like 2,000 coins that you're literally not going to lose coins on during the Black Friday period, right? That's the kind of stuff people are doing right now. They're transitioning to some of those lower tier teams using some of their untradables that they have and stuff like that. So I do think the market is probably con going to continue to slide off specifically as again, people are rumoring that we might have a big time SBC coming today or, you know, that base icon upgrade coming out again before Black Friday would start next week. I think that's possible. So if that happens, there's going to be even more panic, even more price drops. And what we know as the Black Friday market crash will absolutely begin. I, th I think right now we are in the early stages of it for sure. So that's kind of my thoughts on the market. I think there are going to be opportunities to quick flip and to trade. If you have SBC fodder, with stuff going as high as it is going, um, you know, you could hold out for a little bit this weekend, but I would probably sell it as it's just super duper high and it's super inflated. And if you bought some fodder earlier on this week when we were talking about getting 88s at like 20 to 21,000 coins on bid, of course, right now you are loving life because you are absolutely making bank. You're making like six to seven K per card or maybe even more as, as these guys are like, you know, 30,000 coins a pop. So GG, if you got any of those there. Now I want to take a look at these objective cards. And even as we head into the weekend a little bit more, um, just the, I guess, what, what kind of potential we could have. And there's already some market movements happening because of this. So yesterday we had the air divisi, right? We had three players available in objectives and one via SBC. Now it looks like on Sunday, we are gonna be getting Liga Portugal. Now people are already starting to invest in potential links to Liga Portugal players. And of course, 
who none other than Jesus Corona Rule Breaker, a card that has been crazily all over the market already this year. This guy was like 40,000 coins yesterday, and right now he is 70,000 coins on this market. This dude has absolutely exploded in price because people have been mass investing in this card. It's basically one of those TikTok investments, if you will, right? Take a look at this. 44,000 coins yesterday on Friday, right? This guy was about 50,000 coins and then he exploded to 60 and now he's even 70,000 coins on this game right now because of all the hype with this card, people investing. Uh, Kudus was like discarded and now he's up to 17,000 coins at the moment. Um, of course, with yesterday's links, this Grab and Birch RTTK card is extinct at 60,000 coins on both consoles. So his price has shot up a ton. Just be very, very careful if you're buying some of these cards as investment. I know some people are buying um, even like the, the center back from one of the earlier teams of Rule Breakers. Uh, what's his name? Coates. Coates is up from like, he's also a fodder. So he's, he's up because of that as well. People are investing in this Barkaisen card. Just be really, really careful with this stuff. It seems again, like one of those TikTok investments that is absolutely blowing up. Uh, like, especially with this Corona card. So sell in the hype is in my 100%, 100% recommendation here on a card like this Corona, because so many people are investing in this right now. And it looks like we just sold that Philip Lam. Uh, that was really, really low earlier. It looks like we just sold it. Nice. So we just bought that for 1.23, sold it for 1.32. That is a dub right there. We'll take that. So that's kind of, I would be really careful with that over investing, selling the hype on some of this stuff, uh, especially if it's related to the squad foundations that will be coming out. Uh, and yeah, today on Saturday, if they drop a base icon, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get very, very ugly because SBC fodder is so expensive, but people love SBCs like that and they're going to go out and do it and it's going to drop the market 100% even more. Now, quick update on the account. I am going to be updating the team. The, up, the team is going to be getting upgraded and it already did yesterday because I was not going to do the hero upgrade SBC, but I ended up going and doing it and I got myself an absolute banger pull with a Betty Pele. So I'm trying to figure out a squad at the moment uh, right now where I can kind of put together a Betty Pele and R9 and upgrade the defense at the same time. I might, I might go to the ratty trio here in the back line with Kempembe, Marquinhos, and Donnarumma and Hakimi. I might look to buy some of these guys around the Black Friday timeframe next week and update the squad in that way. So huge pull yesterday from this. I'm glad the Twitch chat uh, convinced me to do that SPC. That was a pretty big W that we ended up getting from that. But be, I'd be very, very careful on the market today, boys. If you're going to try to flip some cards, I would say, again, stick to very rare items like this money that we're looking at. This could very easily bounce back up to like 670. So if I could catch one of these at like, I don't know, like a 620, 630 might be a bit too greedy. Uh, or, you know, 630 is going to be hard to get. 620 might even be a little bit too hard to get. I'm just curious to see if we have that hour of panic this morning on Saturday or if people are going to, you know, if there is no Icon SBC today, how will things react with the market? It's going to be very interesting to see. But at least we know one thing for sure right now. People are starting to sell cards from their teams. They are starting to sell players as they prepare for next week's Black Friday market drop. They're already starting to prepare and sell some of these cards. So let me know now in the comments, have you sold cards? I know some of you guys sold them earlier last week when we talked about it. I think that was a W. If you didn't mind playing with Untradables for a few days, now starting to see this market drop, it is finally here. People are preparing for Black Friday and that's gonna make this game get really interesting over the rest of this weekend and into this next week. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.